Hey everybody, do not realize that I start most of my my videos like alrighty <laughs> or, or alright let's get to this or something, or something with alright okay so I'm just gonna you know hi people uh this is episode 3 of until death do us part now you guys know I love you guys dearly I'm only playing this game because you guys like it I fucking hate it I'm just saying Sorry, but I hate this shit. This shit is so ugh. I just uh, the characters. Uh, it's the characters. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame the fucking characters. What's up, y'all? I got a public service announcement for y'all. Do not, under any circumstances, take your asses outside. It's motherfucking. <laughs> it's motherfucking hot outside. Not hot, but hot. Okay. Hot is when the weather has exceeded hot, honey. Hot is when you step outside and feel like you're in a fucking oven, girl. <laughs> this girl is hilarious. Hot is when you start sweating in places that you didn't even know you could sweat from. So if you don't want to be hot, honey, please don't step outside. Enjoy the story. Okay. I'm, guys, I know this is probably a different outfit that I have on, but that's because I had to replay this because somebody called me in the middle of a recording. But, whatever, however. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run away. I only have time to do one thing before I go. What should I do? I'm gonna say get that moolah. Hey. I need some money. I don't think I'll have, I, I, I don't think I'll have time to think about my family. Fuck the bitch. They trying to make you marry somebody for they stinking asses. Okay? Instead of moving. Okay, girl? I hope they understand. I don't give a shit if they understand or not. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I could get Raph, uh, Raphael to give me some money. These fucking names are horrible. I'll do it. I, you know, I'm just going to rename everybody in here. Valentina's the only person who can keep her name. Her brother from now on, his name is Ralph, girl. Because I'm not going to make up nothing too extravagant because I'm not going to remember it. Hi, Ralph. How are you? No. I haven't even asked you for anything yet. You're going to ask me for money. What? What made you come to that conclusion? Every week you ask for some of my money, for some of my allowance money, which you blow on food. Food you refuse to share with me, even though you use my money to buy it. So, I'm not giving you any money. Looks like it's time for the waterworks. Ralph, please. I'm so hungry. I just want some McDonald's. I know you, Val. You're going to buy Popeye's, Chick-fil-A, and the Burger King to go with it. <laughs> please, big brother, don't let me die of starvation. Okay, okay, I'll give you some money. Just stop crying. Ralph reaches into his wallet. Pulled out eight crispy $100 bills and gave the money and gave me the money. Bitch, what McDonald's do y'all go to, girl? What do you need $800 worth of fucking food for, girl? That's like food for the month, girl. You eat a month's worth of food in one sitting, honey? <sighs> Thanks, Ralph. Bye. You weren't crying. Hell no, boy. <laughs> I got your neck. What the fuck does that mean, girl? I got your fucking neck. What the fuck does that mean? Whatever. Well, I'm ready. Uh, do you really want to do this? Choose wisely. Yeah. I should change it to something darker. I know my ass probably gonna get caught. It's now or never I'm gonna get caught. Because if I didn't get caught, this story wouldn't be fucking right. I open up the window, carefully climb outside. Luckily, my room is on the bottom floor, so I can easily get out. I'm almost free. Hey, who's there? Shit. Stop. I'm frantically trying to climb over the fence before the mysterious guy, the mysterious guy catches up to me. But just as I'm about to get over, he grabs me by my hair and pulls me down. Wow. Bitch, now I'm about to fight you, bitch. Because you don't put your hands in a bitch. Weave, girl. 
I try to punch the mysterious guy in the nose, but he grabs my hand, puts it behind, puts it behind me, and pulls me hard against his front. <sighs> I try to get free, but fail. He's too strong. Stop struggling, or else I'll give you something to struggle about. Well, that made me stop quickly. Is he trying to say he's gonna rape me, girl? That's what that sound like to me. He finally let go of me. I brush the grass off my clothes. Who sent you? What? What? Who sent you? No, nobody sent me. Then what are you doing breaking into the cow? The oh, oh my god. <sighs> I hate their fucking last name. Cause I always want to call them Calhoun. Calhan. 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 Bitch, what you doing breaking into the sea estate? <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of Alex's whores? What? No, I would never sleep with that dickhead. Not dickhead, girl. I'm not breaking in. I'm breaking. I'm breaking out, baby. Who are you? Uh. If I told him who I was, he would bring me back to Alex, and I would be punished. But if I didn't, he would probably still bring me back to Alex and I would be punished. <sighs> I was officially stuck. Who are you? The mysterious man bites out every word very slowly in a harsh, deadly manner. On second thought, maybe I should tell him my name. I mean, sure, I would, I would be punished severely, but at least I wouldn't be dead. That's enough, Fidel. Sir, I found this girl lurking around your property. She might be one of your fans or past conquests. Ha! He wishes. Fidel sends a deadly glare in my direction, which makes me shiver in fear. I'll shut up now. I should, uh, I should take, wait, should I take her to the, to the jail cell, sir? Why do y'all have a fucking jail cell in your fucking house, girl? I could teach her a lesson. She seems to have quite an attitude. I can handle punishing my wife, Fidel. Thank you. Well, wife, I'm not your wife. You will be. You're dismissed, Fidel. Yes, sir. Like hell, bitch. I won't be. What? You were trying to escape. Here, hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> Me? Escape? Never. <clears throat> Go get changed out of that outfit and meet me out here. Why? <laughs> we're going out. I don't want to go out. I wasn't asking. Now I'm giving you five minutes. Or else, I'm telling you that you were trying to escape. You wouldn't. I would. <laughs> if Alex told Papa I was trying to run away, it would bring great shame to the Giovanni family. I would be punished severely. Fine. Wear something that shows that nice ass of yours. Shows up that nice ass of yours. Shut up, stupid ass. Calling him by his goddamn name. All right, people. That's the end of that. Eight minutes. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It was stupid.